My name is Heidi Finley, and this is my uh, graduate thesis exhibition here at uh, University of St. Francis. Uh, I now have a Master of Arts in Fine Arts degree, with my uh, concentration being in oil painting. And I would like to share a few things with you here at the show. Uh, this painting behind me is called uh, Aerosmith Meets Mr. Rogers. Um, the, the paint is enamel oil. It's the kind of paint that you paint your house with. It's, uh, it comes in a can and uh, it was poured and dripped and drizzled onto the board to make the painting. Uh, I really uh, like working with enamel paint in that it uh, dries very, very glossy and smooth and sleek looking. Uh, and the colors, uh, if I want them to, the colors will not blend and sort of retain their crisp edges and I, I really, really like that. These are two uh, pastel drawings. Uh, they are, they're, they're each a self-portrait. Um, I was desperately trying to get back in touch with my right brain and uh, I think that these frogs show the the, my wanting to um, escape and, and desperately, how's that? My wanting to escape desperately. All right, <clears throat> this little painting here is called Alice. Uh, Alice is my mother's Siamese cat. Um, I, I had a great time uh, working with, with a photograph to make this oil painting. It's oil on board. Um, and, and I enjoy the, the close-up detail yet not uh, detailed look of this from far away. It looks very realistic uh, when you come up close. Um, the brush strokes take on their own life and begin to look a lot more abstract. This piece is an 18 by 24 oil done in uh, artist tube oil on canvas and it's called Double Pork Trit and uh, you may recognize it from the uh, postcard that was sent out for this show. Uh, this piece was done um, uh, in, in, in a way that's one of, that, that works really well for me and that is to start with a black and white photograph and then add my own color to, to the image. Um, in this case, I gave myself a, a quick little assignment, which was to use just a few colors and try to come up with something interesting. Uh, and, and plus, the, the expressions are something I strive for. I, I strive to make the eyes in my uh, animals interesting, and, and I, I think this accomplished that. Llama Looking for Work is a tube oil piece. Uh, it was done in my studio above Cahoots Coffee Cafe in Angola, Indiana. It's one of the first paintings completed in my studio space. Um, this painting is interesting to me uh, because it was probably five different paintings before it was Llama Looking for Work. Um, besides color, I enjoy working with texture. And if you look closely, you'll see texture that um, really doesn't belong with the brush strokes here. That's because you're looking at the texture from a painting underneath. Um, after, after making so many paintings on the same canvas, you get, I get a really nice uh, buildup of, of paint and that adds to uh, the completed piece. Uh, this piece is... Uh, is done in artist tube oil on board and the title is an acronym it's PGCFS which stands for postgraduate critique frustration syndrome this uh, painting was done the morning after a graduate critique which is a three-hour ordeal uh, usually in the evening um, and and that next morning I was terribly frustrated and oftentimes 
a strong emotion like frustration will, will really help me to create powerful, dynamic work. And I think that definitely happened here. This piece is a small tube oil on canvas. Again, this was done from uh, a black and white photograph of pigs, and my imagination sort of took off from there. Now this one is called Mama Llama and the Commas, and if you look closely, you'll find several llama images in there, and you'll find some comma images. Uh, again, just like with many of my works, um, started with some black and white photographs, made a line drawing, and then put the photographs away and looked at my palette and waited for the colors in my palette to sort of talk to me, which, which they do. Uh, they sort of um, talk to me and call me, kind of draw me in, and that's how I choose my colors. Um, also, this being a complementary color combination, uh, blue versus orange, uh, it, that combination, that color uh, complementary combination will make for a very bold uh, and bright piece. All right, this is a, an oil pastel drawing. Um, oil, oil pastel is sort of like working with crayon, but better because the oil pastels blend nicely. Uh, during the time my daughter Anna was in elementary school, she was working on math and having a little bit of difficulty, and the rest of us at home were, were trying to help her out, memorize her, her math facts, and uh, again, started with an image of an animal, an elephant in this case, and, and my imagination and what was on my uh, mind sort of took over from there, and, and this is what happened. This piece is called Morisot at the Hair Show. Uh, it's done in tube oil. This, the most distinguishing thing about this piece is that before it was a figure study, it was a landscape. If you look at it uh, in a horizontal format, you can just sort of see a horizon line there. And I happen to have a book open in my studio, um, um, a book of uh, Manet paintings. And there is a famous Manet, um, uh, of a, a, a figure study of a model called uh, Morissette, um, where the, the, the figure is wearing a black hat. It's very Victorian looking. Her clothing is black. And I noticed that the horizon line in my painting, which I didn't like and wasn't finished and wasn't happy with, it was the exact same line in that famous Manet painting. So I turned that canvas uh, 90 degrees and, and I started over and uh, ended up with a figure study. Uh, this is a, mainly an oil painting with the addition of oil stick on, on top. Uh, oil stick is basically oil paint in crayon form. Uh, it's not good for detail, but it's, it's great uh, for nice texture and uh, bold brush strokes. You can see it in the foreground here in the orange. Uh, this piece is called Our Sand Lake Mason County Imagined uh, because when I got finished with it, it reminded me very much uh, of a little lake at Ludington State Park in Michigan. All right, this, this oil on canvas is called Early Spring Warbler and uh, it's I think a little more peaceful than much of my work. I am a bird lover at heart, and sometimes that comes out. This piece is a, in my mind, a fairly successful landscape. This is a plein air painting, which means it was done outside uh, from life, um, which is sort of a difficult feat if you're used to working indoors where you can control the temperature and you can put tables exactly where you want them and have as many of them as you need. Uh, this was a challenge in learning how to use the collapsible easel and not spilling the turpentine and keeping all the paint on the palette and uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I do enjoy a challenge and this, this type of uh, uh, work, working in this way was a challenge for me. 